The Hizmet Movement is serving humanity without asking for their religions or their racial identity or whatever else. Uh, they are serving people because service to God's creation is a path to serving God. My name is Parvez Ahmed. I am a professor of finance at the University of North Florida's Coggin College of Business. I'm also director for the Center for Sustainable Business Practices at UNF. Along with that, I serve on the boards of uh, World Affairs Council of Jacksonville and the Museum of Science and History here in Jacksonville. I am also one of the commissioners uh, for Jacksonville's Human Rights Commission. In the past, I have been a Fulbright Scholar um, and I also uh, have served on several other nonprofit boards and commissions. My um, knowledge about the Human Hizmet Movement comes from two sources. One is I have read about uh, Fatahullah Gulen, uh, Hoja Effendi, uh, through his writings, his books, his websites. Uh, but most importantly, I have learned about the Hizmet Movement by knowing the people who are part of the Hizmet Movement here in the United States. Um, I have met them in various settings, mostly in settings where they are, they are serving the public, either through their dialogue dinners or some of the efforts in education or interfaith dialogue. Um, and I've also visited Turkey um, in one of the dialogue trips. Uh, and I've visited Turkey since then several times. So I'm very familiar with the Hizmet movement I'm very familiar with the Hizmet Movement's work, particularly their work in the United States. Also, when I was traveling to, for my Fulbright work to India and to Bangladesh for my Fulbright uh, work, I also encountered some of the Hizmet uh, institutions in those countries also. The Hizmet Movement, to me, embodies the, the Quranic wisdom. It is a distillation of the Quranic wisdom in the Quran Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, is described as rahmatul lil alameen, as a mercy to all of creation, to all human beings. When I observe the Hizmet Movement's work, I see their work as a manifestation of that wisdom. Because the Hizmet Movement is serving humanity without asking for their religions or their racial identity or whatever else. Uh, they are serving people because service to God's creation is a path to serving God. We serve God by serving his creations. So I have, in my observations of the Hizmet Movement's work, I have seen this manifested in many ways. For example, their educational institutions, their schools that I have seen both here in Jacksonville, in other parts of the US, also when I was traveling to Bangladesh and to Turkey. What I've seen is that their service is universal. They are trying to open up the minds, the hearts and minds of people without asking what their religion is. Uh, that, to me, is the embodiment of the Quranic wisdom. Gulen undoubtedly is one of the most important personalities in our contemporary time. Unfortunately, more Muslims and people who are of other faiths have heard of the terrorists like Osama bin Laden and others than of personalities like Fatahullah Gulen. 
Without a doubt, Fatahullah Gulen has influenced more lives, have helped more human beings than the terrorists have killed. And yet so few people have heard about him. Um, and we are very, I consider myself very fortunate that I had the opportunity to meet with the people that he has influenced, that his teachings have influenced. And then I had the opportunity to read some of his writings and some of his books and his, listen to some of his sermons and other things about him. And it is his influence, not only on the people who are part of the Hizmet, but on people who are not part of the Hizmet, is profound. Because he is, he is clear in his, in his wisdom. And I make a very personal connection to him, even though I did not have the fortune to meet with him yet. I hope someday that will change. Uh, but I do make a very personal connection because I was educated in India at a university which is known as the Aligarh Muslim University, a very famous university which was founded well over a century ago by a person, his name is Sayyid Ahmed Khan. And Sayyid Ahmed Khan's vision was very similar, that he wanted Muslims to be educated and enlightened uh, and have a progressive vision through their education, through their enlightenment, have a progressive vision to help all of humanity because he wanted Muslims to be at their best in whatever they do. If they're scientists, they must be the best scientists. If they are engineers, they must be the best engineers. And of course, education is the key to this. And I benefited from that vision because I, I was educated at that institution. So when I came to know about the Hizmet Movement's similar vision to what Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan had in India, um, I was very touched and moved. And I see this when I meet with the students who are part of the schools that are uh, run by the people of the Hizmet. And when I visited Turkey, I met with some of the students uh, who are part of the Hizmet schools in Turkey. And I was so impressed with their, um, not just their academic side, but I was more impressed with their, their outlook towards the world, uh, that they embodied this idea of service, that they were enlightened, uh, they were open-minded, they were curious, they wanted to know more, and they were very gentle and very um, embracing in their behavior. When you think about Prophet Muhammad, who is a role model to all of us Muslims, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, you know, there is a verse in the Quran that says that, O Prophet, that if we were harsh to them, they would run away. So be gentle. And when I look at the, you know, I know Fatahullah Gulen not personally, but I know him through the people that he has inspired. And when I see them, when I meet them, I find in them um, characteristics that I wish I had. Um, the, the characteristic of being gentle, being open-minded, uh, being forthcoming, and being in, in service to humanity. And have that, that characteristic, and the world could, could, could use that. I mean, if, today, if you look at the strife that is cutting through the Muslim world, violence in the name of religion, this is the kind of vision that, 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 that is more inspiring and needs to be um, spread uh, for people to embrace and people to work within that vision. And yet I find uh, when I meet with people in the Hizmet, they're quite independent-minded, uh, they're quite open-minded, and they give opinions. They're not dogmatic in their opinions. And that's the kind of value that uh, Muslims need to embrace. And um, more Muslims are doing it as people are finding out about the, about the Hizmet movement. More are being um, impressed by it and influenced by it in a positive way. And um, I think that's, you know, I, I read uh, in a magazine that uh, Fatahullah Gulen was named as one of the 100 most influential people in the world today. Um, and in my view, he is, uh, because I have traveled to several other countries. When I was doing my work, my, my Fulbright work in Bangladesh, I was quite surprised to find um, a Hizmet-run school in the city of Dhaka. 
Um, I wouldn't have expected it there. Uh, but here they were, uh, serving the people of that region with the same passion, with the same uh, enthusiasm that I, as I have met uh, the Hizmet uh, people here in Jacksonville. The Hizmet movement um, is, like many other civil society movements around the world, the difference in some sense would be that it is a faith-based institution. Uh, it also has a profoundly Turkish root and Turkish origin. And yet it is very universal in its, in its outlook. Um, so the Hizmet primarily has been a, has, has promoted a positive image of Turkey around the wherever it has operated, because everybody knows the people of the Hizmet movement are people from Turkey. But it is different from, although it is a movement that is based on the Islamic faith, it is not an Islamist movement, because I have not found a person that I have met with the Hizmet movement that have aspirations for high political office or for um, controlling the apparatus of politics. The fundamental goal of the Hizmet movement that I have been able to discern is to be able to serve people in a way that expresses the best and the highest ideals and values of Islam in a way that also builds bridges and tries to find common ground with other faiths. Because when you think about the best values of Islam, the idea of universal brotherhood and sisterhood, the idea that we as human beings are one people, that uh, you know, be to your neighbor what you want the neighbor to be with you, be respectful of other faiths. Those are universal values. The golden rule of faith is the same across every faith. Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. And the Hizmet movement embodies that. But it has not taken on an overt political character. And I think that's been a positive for this movement that is rooted in Islam that is different from other Islamic movements. Hizmet's charity activities, I think, are a critical ingredient to its success and its identity as a Muslim movement, a movement rooted in its faith. Uh, charity is essential, I think, within the Islamic tradition. There can be no better promotion for Turkey than what Hizmet does by taking people from here, from, from Jacksonville and from various parts of the world to visit Turkey. Thank you.